Wahala, wahala, wahala. Wahala don't stop. Wahala don't set. So, um, there is a report that Obaseki, the governor of Edo State, has ordered the immediate arrest of Adam Sushomole. Obaseki orders arrest of Oshomole for mobilizing talks to attack banks, private businesses in Edo over Nera scarcity. I made a video, but I guess so many of you took it for granted. When a video was leaked when where Obasaki was saying that uh, we are going to intimidate. I say sorry, Oshomole was was saying that we are going to intimidate the obedient in Edo State. This is Edo State, and after that video, after I made that video just yesterday, talks begin to get, come out. They started protests. They started destroying banks, and two people were reportedly shot from that incident. And Obaseki is not having it good. He has ordered the immediate arrest of Adam Soshomole. Adam Soshomole is a big doubt, of course. He's like Tinimbo, who wanted to be a Jagaban in Edo State, but because of it, don't know be legal. Edo people talk say, Oga, you no go come. You no go enter. You know, we no go allow you. You see, it's only a crazy community that will allow one man to continue to champion them, no matter how good that man is, to continue to be their leader for years. No, no, no. It's only a crazy community. And that is what, when uh, uh, Adam Soshomele was the governor of Edo State, he wanted to equally be the kingmaker. He would be the one to decide who enters uh, the, the governorship seat. And when he chose Obaseki, he thought Obaseki would play in accordance. But he was surprised. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? If this is your first time of coming across the tank ride, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to share, do not forget to like. Most importantly, like our videos because the more you like our video, the more YouTube will help recommend it. YouTube and Facebook will help recommend it to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed to this very channel. God bless you massively. So, we have been uh, around the city all day speaking with some of the protests protesters, and we have done our investigation. We discovered that it is more than meet the eye said mr nahikare at the juncture we would like to call on security agencies to call adam Sushomole for questioning he should be arrested and made to account for his movement in the last few days especially here in benin city Oshomole des des deliberately instigated the protest of the people the commissioner said i know people will think the protest is as a result of lack of naira notes but even if that is the case nigerians should know which political party is involved because it is ironic the political party that is responsible for this policy is the same party sending people to destroy pdp billboards the commissioner added Oshomole, a former national chairman of the all progressive congress has secured the ticket of the party to contest for a donut senatorial seat. Violence people everywhere. All they do is violence, violence, violating the laws that protect the land. These are the kind of people you make your leaders. It's very shameful and disheartening that in a, in a critical moment like this, we keep talking about men that does not matter to us. You understand? We keep talking about men that doesn't matter to us. And that is disastrous, that is hilarious, and that is dangerous. Believe you me, from every perspective, I am saying nothing but the truth. Now, I wonder why a man who so, so stoop so low to, you know, continue to force himself into power. What does Tinubu want? Look at what he's causing everywhere. What does Tinubu want? He has heard Lagos. You see, God, see, God cannot be mocked. I keep telling you guys that God cannot be mocked. He held down Lagos, knowing fully well that he's dealing with his Yoruba brothers. Because, see, yeah, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to, I, I don't mean to sound tribalistic here, but I am asking Yoruba people, why will you allow one man to hold Lagos for 20 something years? I don't say you should rebel. I'm not, I, don't, I didn't say there should be rebellion, no. But tell me, 
learned people I'm, because aboros are comfortable you see the aboros in lagos those that uh, the touts in lagos are comfortable with tinubu being the, because tinubu speaks on their behalf tinubu speaks a big volume when it comes to their rights in lagos so but i don't i do not see why learned people will continue to allow such man to hold the cross. See, you see, one thing is, is very important here for people to understand. Nigeria is comprised of three major tribes and other 500 and something languages. So you can't just come and, you know, because of your, your Jagaban in this very state, everybody should now run for you. It's not possible. It's not possible. Because you are Jagaban, people should now leave Lagos for you. So I accept and agree with what uh, this dude called Obaseki is doing. They should keep Oshomo on one side. But I know it's difficult because it's Nigeria, empty threat all the time. All the time. You get. There's, it's always empty threats because uh, somebody like Oshomola is a big dog in the political game. So, so it's, it will be very hard for him to, to be handcuffed and brought to book. That is why politicians will do everything and go scot-free. And somebody said, there's a comment I have been looking for and I wanted to read it for you guys. Somebody said that if P2B wins, other politicians will know both governorship, uh, local government chairman, senators will know that it is by competence that you can win this seat. But if P2B loses, for some of you that are, that are against P2B, see, you are against yourself. You are against your children's destiny. I'm not saying that P2B is going to do it all right. But believe you me, this battle is between Nigerians and the government. P2B has nothing to contribute in this very battle because he, he equally is a politician. His business will not be affected. He has major shares in, in abroad, in UK, in America and all that. When the election is done, if he loses, he will fly out and live his normal life, continue to live as the charity he is. But the government will prepare you, you the citizens, where you are eating from, they will terminate it. Let's wise up, oh. Let, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it on this very platform, but let's wise up. Let's wise up. It is time to wise up. Because these APC people, they're already showing themselves. They went to somewhere in Lagos and they were telling people, if you don't vote for APC, you'll be chased out of Lagos. Why are they scared? Why, why can't they just do something? Uh, uh, why, they, why can't they just allow peaceful uh, uh, election to happen? Because they know very well that with free and fair election, APC cannot enter that seat. People are tired. For just seven years old, they only had the opportunity once, eight years, Buhari just became APC president. Look at they have just the loan that PDP collected in their whole 20-something and 30 years. <clears throat> it's 19 point something billion. APC entered just within eight years. Is clocking to over hundred hundred billion dollars. Just few few moments they entered. Well, I leave it to your conscience. I know that some of you you don't have conscience at all. I rather will say that some of you don't have conscience. Vote P two B. Don't vote your conscience. The people I pity more are the poor people who are still foolish. You know you are poor and you are still arrogant. When this thing is done on you, <laughs> you don't have any place to go. Let's don't forget the, the Uyo, Uyo massacre, the Enugu massacre. The massacres have been happening in Benue, in Ebony State, in different states of Nigeria, in Kaduna, Southern Kaduna. Well, from P2B, my man, they start. No matter the threat APC is giving, we are going out to vote massively. I love you guys. Peace out.